So, you're probably wondering why Mike Hoffman is doing a Tiger Williams silly right at center ice. But let me tell you, this was far from a celebration for Hoffman, okay? He's in a lot of pain right here. So let's dive right in here and take a look at what I'm talking about. Here's a face-off just outside the Bruins zone. Mike Hoffman's lined up against Bruins tough guy, AJ Greer. They do some jousting before the puck is dropped and Greer ends up cross chicken Mike Hoffman right in the chops. Here it is again. <laughs> that looked bad. I don't even know if a beaver would enjoy eating this much lumber. Now Greer looks to the sky right away. He knows he missed up. He heads off to the penalty box and Mike Hoffman heads down the tunnel to get some TLC. He needs repairs. And even Jack Edwards would say that this was not a good look for Greer. And after reviewing the play, the officials would get together and they decided to hand out a five minute major and a game misconduct for Greer which I think is the right car. It was a pretty dirty looking play. You gotta be responsible for your own stick. Now the NHL's Department of Player Safety would also announce today that there was gonna be a hearing for this incident, so keep your eyes out for a fine or even a suspension. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I think he's gonna get a couple of games for this. But I mean, I could be wrong. And this is just one incident from a pile in this game. Yes, yes, the Habs and the Bruins were somewhat reigniting their rivalry last night, and you gotta love it. And this all started early in the first period when Patrice Bergeron laid this hit right here on Brendan Gallagher. Bergeron's not known for a dirty player at all. I mean, he kinda gets his hands up here, but I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with it. Good hit, Patrice. But you're also gonna notice in this frame, Rim Pitlick has got front row seats to this hit. And this is pretty significant, because shortly after, it's actually Pitlick who steamrolls Bergeron deep into the head zone. Oh, look at that one. <whistles> this one's way worse. Bergeron doesn't have the puck. There's even contact to Bergeron's head right here. You can see it. Much like the hit on Gallagher earlier, Brad Marchand's got front row seats to this one. And he quickly comes to Bergeron's defense and gets some good licks in on, well, pit lick. It's a weird one to say. Now Pitley clearly doesn't want anything to do with him. He probably doesn't want to get rabies or anything. And he would have to be saved by everybody else. And this would be the play that really turned the temperature up for the remainder of the game. I mean, say what you like about the Bruins, but these guys got a pack mentality and you don't miss with Bergeron, okay? He's like the Queen Bee. And you miss with the Queen Bee, you're probably going to get stung or licked. In just a few minutes after this one, we also got Jake Evans, who's in his first game back from injury. He drives the nip pretty hard. Allmark doesn't like it. Everybody kind of wants a piece of him, and Joe Edmondson and David Savard would have to pull everybody out of the dog paw and help him out. Meanwhile, we got Pizzetta with his head on a swivel, like a dog that's just looking for someone to bite at this point. <laughs> what a game. Lots of action after the whistles. These are just a few clips that really stood out to me, and it just kills me knowing that Arbor Jack I wasn't able to participate in this one. Oh, and you just know he would have been like Hawk Hogan at Royal Rumble 91, man. It would have been great. And I don't care if you're a Bruins fan or a Habs fan or a stray cat out of Arizona or something, but you gotta admit, it's always nice seeing a couple of teams like the Habs and the Bruins rekindle their rivalry, okay? I, I love it. It's gonna be even more fun one day when the Habs are actually competitive again. The final score in this one was 4-2 for the Bruins. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about this game and that ugly looking cross chick from AJ Greer. Do you think it's worth a suspension? And how about Pitlick's hit on Bergeron? Let me know your thoughts on this one as well. Don't forget to cross check the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.